Round two of the Divine Visionary Selection arc is coming up. There is this new guy who seems to be talking a lot of shit, long hair, threw water at us, but it's okay because we made that shit into a protein shake. Now, I'm still kind of concerned on how Finn is going to pass this because bro has made it through season one and into season two without single time using his magic, but surely we're going to get something about that, right? Because he's the brother of a Divine Visionary after all. Let's begin today's reaction. Mahokai ni sareru. Bankai. The Bankai Wands. Yo, the, sh the fucking Zanpakuto of this world. Okay, 13 ancient wands. Okay, okay. The wands chooses the users. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, where was this in season one? I feel like season one should have started off with this backstory, but this lore of the wand came out of fucking nowhere in season two, which is honestly super hype. Master Kane. Master Kane. And I think that person right there, maybe I'm. Ch no, I think that's two lines, but technically, everybody that has this, as someone said so, I heard that the third line doesn't show until they use Bankai, right? Until they awaken the inner wand, the, the wand. Like, you know how Rain's third line didn't show up until he used it? I feel like they're all hit. Just 3v3 break the crystals, but Finn is alone. Because you haven't done anything by yourself throughout two fucking seasons, Dot has carried you. Do something, please. Do something. Dot's been like babysitting Finn, dude. Dot has been carrying Finn like no other. Right, because we both destroyed our crystals. So Finn has the only crystal available. We're so fucked. I mean, I don't see them failing, but this is pretty disadvantageous already. Huh? Oh, it's that guy again. The guy that splashed water on us. Carpaccio. Got a cool... Oh. The fuck? He's not bleeding, though. This guy talks just like the Magia Lupus dude. Oh, if you do damage to yourself, they get the damage, but he doesn't receive the damage? What if you just repeatedly fucking just punch your balls? What happens if you continuously punch your balls? It would work on a guy, but what if it was a girl? How would that work? I mean, he's not really compelling because like we've already seen evil. Oh, I'm the elite from birth types. What else is he about? Well, Finn actually uses magic today. Who knows, man? Yes, you're a bamboo. You're a bamboo. Be a bamboo. Oh, he's actually manipulate. No, that's not his magic, is it? Did he actually use his magic there? It, it, was that a running gag or what? Was that a was that just comedy? Him turning into a chameleon and and and, and hiding. I. It fits with his personality because he's a coward. So his magic is to just be a chameleon with your surroundings? Um, that's good utility magic, I guess. Oh. Holy shit, wow. It happened, but... <sighs> Being a wall. I'm a wall. <laughs> oh. What the fuck, bro, has a stand? Damn, look at that thing. Ain't no way you just said that. What? Please. I will lick your shoes and I'll even lick between your toes. <sighs> Maybe after this battle, after the toes are seasoned. Wait, wait. Because he knows his brother, he's gonna back off? He's gonna leave him alone? Brother, big bro. Honestly, Finn has been hard to carry. Finn has no right to be here, in my opinion. I, I get, look, this is incredibly rude what he's saying, but it's objectively correct. Finn has not done a single thing that helped us out in season one. He stood up for his friends, but despite that, he's never actually fought and never actually used magic. Thank you, Heavenly Lightning Emperor. And like, Finn has not... He doesn't deserve this position. And if I'm wrong, I don't think I'm wrong. I'm not, I don't think I'm being mean either. I think the author is intentionally portraying him like this so that he can have this moment where he has like a redemption actually kind of does it. He kind of is talentless trash so far, but like, he hasn't shown us anything. I don't think he'd give it up though for his friends. He won't snitch. Like, he wouldn't do this. And he's dead. And he's dead. Okay, Finn's dead. Because I guess when the stand went away, I thought that he pretty much, like, 
dropped his power and I thought he's gonna just like walk away because he's his like reigns like little brother but no so if the stand activates I guess it's already too late you're already in the zone and if you get you know if he does that then you get the attack no. <laughs> Nah, he's gonna hold out. Mash and Dot's gonna show up just in time. 100%. All he does is just get fucked up and Mash and Dot saves him again. We're not going anywhere. Piece of missive and hand it over. Okay. Keep buying time. Keep buying time. Dot and Mash are gonna come in like five minutes. Come on. See, 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 see. <laughs> It's gotta buy time. Yo, this guy's been pretty hyped too. Oh, he acknowledges him, yeah, he acknowledges him. Yes, the seconds. I didn't know he was transfer student, actually. I don't know if he has an interest. It's, well, he probably thinks that the elite of the elite deserve that spot. So naturally, because I'm an elite, I'll get there. But this guy, Margaret, is super interesting because, like, he... Refuses to be a divine visionary, so I thought that he was going to be weak, dude, but it's like, no, he intentionally does that because he's in the pursuit of strength. So, like, there's an entirely separate faction. You don't have to just be divine visionary to be strong in this show, which kind of really hypes up this character. And the fact that he kind of survived fucking, you know, reigns Bankai and, 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 and protected his own men and ran away and said that I didn't even use all my power. Like, this guy, he's kind of hyped up a lot, dude. Wait, he has the 13 wands? He's the most talented. Okay, he's, he's, he's got the 13 wands. Not quite mature. An unripe fruit, bro. Bro, isn't there a character in Hunter x Hunter that does the same shit? Is there, isn't there some sussy shit that goes on? Unripe fruit, not quite mature. He's, just, he's not quite there yet. Mm, I'm, 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 oh, I want to feast on that fruit. I want to... Uh, Hisoka? I, I don't know, but... I have seen memes of some dude that looks a little sassy, a little zesty, and he goes... And, and he's just like, mm, not yet. We need, to, we need to let her cook a little more. <laughs> but is he a fucking Buddha? Daddy and mommy. Daddy and mommy. <laughs> I love this character. I love Margaret. You know what? I love Margaret. What's she gonna do? Turn into a wall again? So, him turning into a wall was just a running gag. And you guys fucked me up again. By just, just saying, yeah, that, that is his magic. That is his, he's got a gun. Oh, oh, lot. Oh no, he's gonna pull out a gun! Fuck! You guys baited me! That wasn't his magic! He's not a chameleon! Alright, what you got? They they dangerous? Twice. We got baited twice. That's not his magic either! Oh my god, when is he gonna use his magic? That's an actual magic! He can swap people around with different objects? He swapped with the, the kid that got fucked up. Wait, this utility is kind of insane. It's kind of like Boogie Woogie, yeah? You change, you swap places with something else. <laughs> that range is insane. What the fuck? He's so far. I thought it'd be like as long as one can only see him or like a couple 50 meter distance, but what the fuck? Why is he so close? How'd he get here so quick? Uh, 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 uh. Well... <laughs> oh! Surprise Finn is still alive after all those stabs. More power of friendship, that's right! He did this in season 1 too, he won't give up for MASH! Come on. Come on, Finn, have your moment. Come on. Another magic. <laughs> what does Narcos do? Mash gonna step in? I think Finn's done plenty. I think Finn's done. I think Mash can show up now and it'll be fine. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's fucked. That everybody can see this right now. They're just broadcasting this live. Mash. No, 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 I don't believe it. 
Bro's not snitching. He won't sell out his friends. There we go! Wait, 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 wait! Imagine Finn takes the damage from this. No, no, no. I, I think the damage is from the knife. No, 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 no. I think the damage can only be transferred if it's through the knife. But if Mash does this and Finn just takes the damage. No, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good. We're good. Oh, fuck. Good job. Yeah. Straight up, right now, Mash did bail Finn out. But it's not that Finn didn't do anything. It's not just like he just got saved while running away. Finn, I think he's a really strong dude in terms of, you know, his power, friendship, the loyalty. His skills are, we saw three of them. Dangerous, I think that was a lie. He's got the swap skill and he's got the other uh, Narcon skill or whatever that shot a purple bean. Don't really know yet, but hey, we got to see some abilities. I, I think Finn, he gave me enough to be uh, satisfied this episode. <laughs> Is Carpaccio dead? Wait, why are you- why are you getting the head damage? Target shifted! So him doing that against the wall? Mash takes that? Okay. Ew. One of the 13 ancient wands is a fucking heart? Ah, uh, but if you're gonna take the damage... Boom. How do you be someone that doesn't take your damage and gets countered? I think we just gotta get his wand. If we snap his wand, then his power will deactivate, right? That's the most logical choice. See, this is why if if Carpaccio didn't swap the target of his magic to Mash when Mash fucking bashed his head in. Finn would have fucking died, dude. So Carpaccio technically saved Finn there, dude. <laughs> he doesn't control it. Master King, the 13 ancient ones. You know Mash is not listening to this. Bro is probably sleeping right now. He never listens to any of this shit. Comedy scene incoming. Alright, Dumbledore's gonna hype up the Ancient King. Let's go. Hmm. I have a student right now that's trying to fucking kill another student. Oh, we should have a good crop of first years this year. Well, technically, the, the rules of this game is that you can do this shit, so I guess blame the fucking school. Oh, are you sure? Are you sure you want that? So, either we take out that wand, or MASH will continuously do attack to kind of like... Like, here's the thing. What if we just continuously brute force this and just do attack and attack and attack, even though it hurts us? What threshold does it have? Is there some kind of damage limit? If we surpass that damage limit, will he actually take damage? I'm not sure. Come on, stab, stab your balls. Keep doing it though, brute force it, keep doing it. Maybe Massey's durability is enough. Just like overwhelm it. I don't know, I feel like Mash is durable enough to handle this maybe. Damn, what the fuck, it's getting so personal dude. Did bro do our history is check on us? What the fuck? He's getting so personal right now. Damn, he even admits it. I mean, compared to his big brother, it's not really fair though. We're building up towards something. Finn should be popping off very soon. Yeah. <laughs> Was he listening? Wait, what the fuck? Mash. Mash, wait. You're supposed to hype your friend up. But here, here's the butt. Here's the butt. Okay, okay, stop! 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 He may be an eyesore, but... I think this is bravery and loyalty. These are great qualities. Yo, look at his eyes. Now what the... Oh! Even stronger! Oh! Wait! Before he... Every attack he landed, Matt should get like an instant like recoil, but... Something changed here. Maybe it's going too fast that I can't see. No, he is taking damage. He is taking damage. 
Just overwhelm him. What, like, simple tactics has worked out for him all this season? Oh, the limit break, dude. The limit. I told you. <laughs> Bro is giving him the fucking Gatling gun. Yeah, the goddess statue does have a capacity. Dude, that, that mask is going to crack. Oh. A million times? Not a little cap. Wow. Turning that bravery against him. Yo, will he cower in fear soon? Will this Carpaccio guy start crying? <laughs> it's a body made of cream puffs. But technically he wants to feel... F oh. Oh, we have a phase two. Oh, technically he did want to feel pain, right? Oh, oh shit. Wait, there's phase two. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Yo, that's not a goddess anymore. <laughs> Ain't no way you just said wood. No fucking shot. Before I would. Not phase two, though. You guys are crazy for saying wood right now. You're insane. It's <laughs> just multiple, you know, needle syringe <laughs> projectiles. What is this guy's flashback? I would like to know more about him. Cream puff, cream puff, cream puff. Uh oh. It's his. Remind me again in, in the first episode, technically we went wand shopping, right? The second episode, we went wand shopping. But there was like a wand on the ground that just wouldn't come out right. It wasn't an actual wand though, right? It, it's not an actual wand though. It was a random thing that was just like plugging up the hole of the ground, right? It, it, it shouldn't be a wand. Don't tell me this is an ancient cane. Don't tell me this is a fucking ancient 13 Bankai cane. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's a heavy wand. It, 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 it said it was a heavy wand. Wait, he doesn't have magic. He's just gonna beat him up with this like a fucking police baton. No, uh, <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> What's going on? What? What? He's molding it? I mean, I should have expected some dumb shit like this from that. I mean, how did you make this strings with your head? Look, don't question it. Bro just fucking made his fucking metal wand into a tennis racket. And now what? Now what? What is that? Where did you get that ball from? Oh! Oh! We're going Prince of Tennis? Bro playing a fucking volley with himself while dodging! Yes! Multitask! Look at this foot movement! Look at that form, dude! Look at that backhand! Look at that forehand! Bro's literally playing a rally like it's a fucking wall. This is so dumb, but I love it. That's this show in a nutshell. Final smash! Oh! There it is! Got a statue done! Eat on me. <laughs> no! No! Oh, that's not- that's, that's with the fucking side of the fucking iron tennis racket. He did say he wants to feel pain. He did say that he was like, I wish to experience defeat, but oh my I god. And this is no longer with the damage mitigation magic, right? This is like a 10 ton fucking hammer onto the head. Oh! So, like, there was no magic there, right? The, the heavy wand was just a fucking iron stick that he molded into a tennis racket. Then he got a fucking metal ball and he started playing a rally. So that there was not a single instance was magic used there, right? There was nothing there. That's not a 13 ancient cane, right? <laughs> CGI mobs. CGI everywhere. <laughs> Fuck your master cane. <laughs> yes. We did a self-rally. <laughs> Like, what if this is also a Master Cane, dude? <laughs> or like, I did a different tier of, of like, you know, if there's like the 13 Master Canes, maybe there's like, you know, like, there, there's like the, the 14th secret hidden one that's supposed to be reserved for like the devil or some shit. Oh, friendship. Friendship prevails again, guys. That was fucking ridiculous, though. <laughs> Yo, he's, he's bleeding out his head! He <laughs> told me. He's probably happy about this, yeah? He wanted this. He wanted this. Bro is literally fucking hemorrhaging out of his bed. 
<laughs> somebody help this guy! I understand he's like an evil person, but this is like, you know, still school settings. Like, is anybody gonna come in and save this guy? <laughs> yeah, I know he did all this shit. Like, I know he did all this shit, but still. All right. Remember what Mash said? Finn was able to withstand you despite that power gap. He was so brave. Can you be brave as him against me? Can you? What about all those stab attacks Finn took to the stomach? Does that not matter? Alright, whatever. Bro, Carpaccio literally... I don't know. At least Margaret is still survived, right? Because, like, I don't like it when they introduce a new enemy and they kind of hype them up. In a span of, like, one or two episodes, immediately destroyed and they're, like, below us. At least Margaret has survived an initial round. Even she... Like, Margaret... I'm just starting to realize how important Margaret is in the grand scheme of things. Like, if this Carpaccio guy was instantly done in this episode, yet Margaret survived against Rain and it's continuing to get hyped up, like, it's pretty hype, man. And that's the episode. Today was a very fun episode and Finn actually used his magic. Now, I'm not sure if this chameleon thing was magic or just a running gag. Still funny that I thought it might have been and it wasn't whatever. Like, the introduction of the 13 Kings, yo. I love it when the world building starts to happen in this anime out of fucking nowhere, right? And I don't see the metal wand being one of the 13 here. So I'm going to assume it's just exists outside of him. Maybe it's just a random fucking metal wand. But how did he fucking mold it towards his tennis racket? Do I need to question that? Because sometimes this show is just like comedy. So sometimes you don't need to question that. Maybe it's just they're just goofing around. But still, Nash is fucking insane. He just played tennis with this thing and just defeated him by himself. Power of friendship prevails. And next episode, I'm going to expect Dot and maybe margaret will get in play maybe even lance because they haven't really been in the focus in a while but that's it from me if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care